You might not realize this, but tiny pieces of plastic are already inside your body right now. They are in your blood, in your lungs, even inside your brain. And no, this isn't a dramatic exaggeration. It's a scientific fact. Researchers have confirmed that microplastics, particles smaller than five millimeters, are being detected in human tissues all over the world. They come from food packaging, water bottles, plastic bags, carpets, clothes, and even the air we breathe. Over the last 50 years, humanity has wrapped itself in plastic. And now, plastic is wrapping itself around us. Before we go deeper, take a second to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. It really helps YouTube recognize that this video has educational value and allows more people to discover this kind of science-based content. Your small action helps our community grow and keeps us bringing more valuable health insights straight to you. Here's the part most people don't know. Microplastics don't just pass through your body, they build up. They can disrupt hormones, irritate your immune system, and trigger chronic inflammation in organs like the liver, kidneys, and even the brain. But the good news is that there are real, scientifically supported ways to help your body eliminate some of these particles. Your body is not defenseless, it just needs the right support. To understand how microplastics move through you, let's talk about your gut. Most of these particles enter your body through food and drink. Because they're so small, they can slip through the tight junctions of your intestinal wall and pass directly into the bloodstream. Once they're in, they can travel to tissues throughout the body, including your brain. But there's a way to strengthen that intestinal barrier. One of the most effective nutrients is glutamine. Let me explain this with a story. John from Oregon worked in shipping his whole life. He didn't think twice about the plastic containers he handled every day or the microwavable meals he ate for lunch. One day after reading a health article, he decided to get a blood test out of curiosity. His doctor told him something that shocked him. Researchers had recently detected microplastics in human blood and John's inflammation markers were unusually high. That night, he went home wondering if the cheap plastic containers, the water bottles, the cling wrap on his leftovers could somehow be hurting him. He started making small changes. He swapped his plastic bottles for stainless steel, replaced his Tupperware with glass, and started learning about how to support his gut. That's when he came across glutamine. He added one scoop of glutamine powder to his morning smoothie. It had no taste, no smell, just mixed right in. Within weeks, his digestion improved. He felt less bloated, less tired, and when he retested his inflammatory markers months later, they had dropped noticeably. What John didn't realize at first was that by strengthening his gut lining, he was reducing how many microplastics could leak into his bloodstream. Glutamine helps to seal those tiny openings in your intestinal wall. Think of it like repairing the holes in a fishing net. Once those holes are smaller, fewer particles can escape into your circulation. Foods like bone broth, collagen peptides, eggs, and grass-fed beef are also naturally rich in glutamine. This is one of the simplest and most effective steps you can take to stop the inflow of microplastics. But of course, some still get in, and your body needs to flush them out. That's where soluble fiber comes in. In 2022, a study found that 94% of human stool samples contained microplastics. That means nearly everyone is exposed, and our digestive system is one of the main exit routes. Soluble fiber acts like a sponge. It binds to bile and toxins, forming a soft gel in your intestines that traps microplastics and carries them safely out of the body through your stool. The best sources are simple, everyday foods. Chia seeds, carrots, oats, psyllium husk, and root vegetables like chicory. Even fermented foods such as sauerkraut and kimchi contain fibers and probiotics that help this process. John added a tablespoon of chia seeds to his breakfast each morning and noticed another change. His energy stabilized, his digestion improved, and he started losing a bit of belly fat. Not because of a diet, but because his body was working better. The more fiber he ate, the easier it was for his system to move things along and flush out waste. Another crucial part of detoxifying microplastics is hydration. Your kidneys filter your blood every second, removing toxins and chemical residues, including the ones that come from plastics like BPA and PFAS. But they can only do that job efficiently if you're well hydrated. When you're dehydrated, 
your kidneys slow down, waste builds up, and those microscopic toxins linger longer. Staying properly hydrated increases your kidneys' filtration rate, helping more pollutants exit through your urine. Aim for at least eight cups of clean water per day. That's about two liters, but the key word here is clean. Whenever possible, use a stainless steel or glass bottle instead of plastic. Heating plastic bottles, leaving them in your car, or reusing single-use ones can release even more microplastics into the water you're drinking. John made that change too, switching to a glass bottle he carried everywhere. And he swore he could taste the difference. It was fresher, cleaner, and it just felt right. There's another part of your body that quietly filters waste but often gets overlooked. Your lymphatic system. It's like a hidden river that runs through your tissues, carrying away debris, proteins, and toxins. But unlike your heart, it doesn't have a pump. It only moves when you do. Simple movement like walking after meals, deep breathing, or gentle stretching acts like a natural pump to push that lymphatic fluid through your system. Even five to 10 minutes of light movement after eating can make a measurable difference in lymph flow. John began taking short evening walks after dinner, nothing intense, just a few blocks around the neighborhood, and noticed that he slept better. That's no coincidence. Moving after meals helps digestion, circulation, and detoxification all at once. For those who want to take it further, yoga twists. Rebounding on a mini trampoline or alternating hot and cold showers can all stimulate lymph flow and help release stored toxins. Now, let's talk about something often overlooked. Your liver. This is the body's chemical factory responsible for neutralizing fat-soluble toxins like those found in plastics. To convert them into water-soluble compounds that can leave through urine or bile, your liver uses a process called phase two detoxification. And one of the best ways to support that process is with sulfur. Sulfur-rich foods help your body produce glutathione, often called the master antioxidant. It binds to heavy metals and plastic residues, helps your liver break them down, and reduces inflammation. Garlic, onions, leeks, eggs, broccoli, and cabbage are great examples. When John learned this, he started cooking more meals at home adding garlic to almost everything, and felt a difference within weeks. His digestion improved, his skin cleared, and he felt lighter, more alert. Scientists have found that boosting sulfur intake can increase detox enzyme activity by over 40%. It's a small nutritional change that can have a massive impact over time. Combined with proper hydration, movement, and fiber, your body's natural cleansing systems begin to work exactly as nature designed them to. And yet, there's still one system we often forget, the one that only works when we're asleep. Here's where things get really fascinating. While you sleep, your brain activates a cleaning system that scientists only recently discovered, the glymphatic system. Think of it as your brain's night crew. During deep, uninterrupted sleep, your brain cells actually shrink slightly, opening tiny channels that allow cerebrospinal fluid to wash away waste, debris, and yes, even microscopic plastic particles. Studies show that microplastics tend to accumulate in the brain up to 30 times more than in the liver or kidneys. And this cleaning system is your only way to flush them out. The catch? It only works when you're asleep, and only if that sleep is deep enough. John didn't know that at first. He used to stay up late scrolling through his phone, answering emails until midnight, then collapsing into bed exhausted. When he started prioritizing his sleep, setting a consistent bedtime, turning off screens an hour before and keeping his room dark and cool, he noticed something remarkable. He woke up clearer, calmer, and more focused. That's because every night of quality sleep is like a detox rinse for your brain. Without it, those toxins just sit there, slowly affecting your mood, your memory, and your energy. Sleep is more powerful than most people imagine. It's not just rest, it's active repair. Seven to nine hours is ideal for most adults, but the quality of that time is just as important as the duration. Avoid eating or drinking alcohol right before bed. Keep the room temperature around 65 to 70 degrees Fahrenheit. And if your mind races before sleep, Try slow breathing or gentle stretching. These habits don't just improve your mood. 
they give your brain the time it needs to literally clean itself. But there's another mechanism working hand in hand with sleep, autophagy. The word sounds complex, but it simply means self-cleaning. It's the process your cells use to recycle old or damaged components and get rid of harmful materials. When you activate autophagy, your body becomes more efficient at clearing out pollutants, including microplastics and chemical residues. And here's the amazing part. You can trigger this natural cleanup through fasting. Research shows that going 12 to 18 hours without food, what's known as intermittent fasting, gives your cells enough time to switch from digesting to cleaning. It doesn't have to be extreme. Even skipping breakfast once or twice a week or finishing dinner earlier in the evening can be enough. During that fasting window, your cells start breaking down damaged proteins, waste, and microscopic pollutants that don't belong there. John tried this too. He stopped eating after dinner at 7 p.m. and had his first meal the next day around 11. Within a few weeks, he felt more alert in the mornings, lighter in his body, and his blood sugar became more stable. If fasting isn't for you, you can still enhance autophagy naturally by eating more polyphenol-rich foods like green tea, turmeric, dark berries, and even capers. These compounds help your cells trigger the same recycling process, improving resilience and longevity. Another unexpected ally in detoxifying microplastics is something called beta-glucans, a special kind of soluble fiber found in mushrooms like shiitake, reishi, and lion's mane. Animal studies show that beta-glucans can increase the elimination of plastic-related pollutants and heavy metals. Oats also contain them, though if you eat oats, make sure to soak or cook them well to reduce phytic acid, which can block mineral absorption. John added lion's mane powder to his morning coffee, and he noticed more focus and less brain fog. A nice bonus to his new detox routine. But maybe the most underrated way to help your body release stored toxins is simply sweating. Studies have found traces of BPA, phthalates, and other chemical residues in human sweat that were not detected in urine, meaning some toxins can only escape this way. So whether it's through exercise, a hot bath, or a sauna, sweating regularly helps the body unload what it can't process through the kidneys or liver. If you decide to use a sauna or take hot baths, remember that your body loses about a gram of salt per liter of sweat. Replenish it with water and a pinch of good quality salt, like Himalayan or Celtic sea salt, to maintain balance. This simple habit supports circulation, hydration, and detoxification all at once. Now, let's talk about your gut again, but this time about the living community inside it. Early research suggests that certain gut bacteria may actually degrade plastics like polystyrene and polyethylene. That means your microbiome could be a hidden ally in cleaning out microplastics. But stress, alcohol, antibiotics, and junk food can all destroy those beneficial strains. The best way to protect them is by eating real food. Fermented foods like kimchi, kefir, and sauerkraut, plus fresh vegetables and wild berries. These feed the good bacteria that strengthen your gut barrier and support detoxification. John started adding a spoonful of sauerkraut with his lunch every day, something his grandmother used to do. It seemed old-fashioned, but within weeks, his digestion improved and his energy returned. His doctor told him later that his liver enzymes had normalized. That's how powerful these small, consistent steps can be when you give your body what it needs. Still, preventing new exposure is just as important as cleaning out what's already there. Most microplastics come from everyday objects, so changing your environment can make a big difference. Swap plastic containers for glass or stainless steel. Use wooden cutting boards instead of plastic ones Avoid heating food in plastic or using plastic lids in the microwave, since heat releases even more particles. Replace Teflon-coated pans with ceramic or cast iron, and filter your tap water whenever possible. Even simple coffee filters or tea bags can shed microplastics. So choose paper or fabric versions instead of nylon ones. John began noticing that the fewer plastics he used, the less plastic waste he created too. His kitchen looked cleaner, more natural, and he felt like he was doing something good. Not just for himself, but for the planet. And that's the hidden truth behind all of this. When you help your body eliminate toxins, you're also helping reduce the demand for what causes them. So if you take one thing from this video, let it be this. 
Your body is not helpless. You are not powerless. Every glass bottle, every vegetable, every good night's sleep is a step toward reducing the invisible burden that modern life places on you. The science is clear. Small, consistent actions add up. Thank you for watching. If this video brought you value, please like it, share it with someone who could use this information, and subscribe to our channel for more science-based insights that help you live and age better. See you soon.